Hi everyone, um, my name is Ayana and I will be teaching you a warm up today. I hope you are all doing well. I know that I've been inside a lot more than usual, so I'm sure the same for you all. But today I'm going to get you moving. I don't consider myself much of a YouTuber, but we'll find out today. Okay, let's go ahead and begin with some side steps. So moving side to side, finding that rhythm for yourself. Good. Side to side, bring your leg in. Feel free to add a little hop to it if you would like. Good. Now we can add our arms in. And so alternating which one is on the bottom and getting our upper back a little bit of some movement. Good job. We're gonna move into arm circles in three, two, one, keeping those feet moving on the bottom, starting with small circles and progressing to larger circles. Good. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move backwards in three, two, one. Good job. We're going to move into some bicep curls in three, two, one. Pulling up, keeping our elbows in, and going up and down. Lift and lower, lower, lift, lower, lift. Find your rhythm. Um, if you have some cans at home, feel free to add some weight to make it heavier. Um, yeah. Good job. Now we're going to do some tricep kickbacks. So I'll show this at a side angle. So we're going to go out, elbows in, and we're going to bring them back. And we're just going to, we're going to do 10 of those. Back. Trying to squeeze our shoulders at the top and keeping our arms as close as we can to our body. Good job. You can have a little bend in your knee, just a soft bend. Good. Okay, let's do five, four, three, two, and here's our last one. Give it your all. Good. Now let's return to those side steps. And we're going to stretch our upper body out. So bringing our arm across our body, we will be stretching our upper back, our shoulders. Good job, everyone. And let's switch in three, two, one. Shake it out and switch. Great job. Again, feeling no pain, but a little bit of tension. And not grabbing on the joint, but just right around it. Good. We're going to stretch out our triceps, bringing our arm upwards. Hard to see. Just like that. We're going to keep our arm flat on our back like this. And we're going to try to keep a neutral gaze right in front of us. Good. Trying to not... Crouch down, but keeping our neutral spine. Go ahead and switch in three, two, one. Shake it out and switch. Push through everyone. I know it's a little different to be working out at home, but I hope you are all well. Good. Let's go ahead and do a bicep stretch. So we're going to bring one of our arms forward and we are going to Pull it a little bit, really careful here that you're just feeling the tension and not any pain. Keeping those side steps going on the bottom. Good. Let's switch in three, two, one. Shake it out and switch. Other side, giving that bicep a good stretch. Good. 
Good job, everyone. Now we are going to switch into, shake it out, and we're going to do some calf raises. So you are going to, you can put your hands on your hips, out, wherever is comfortable and gives you the most balance. We're going to come up and down. We really want to squeeze our glutes at the top and release as we come down. So squeeze as you come up and release as you come down. To increase intensity, you can come up and hold it there for a few seconds and then come back down, just like that. Good. If you wanted to work on balance also, you can come up while holding one leg upwards. It's kind of hard, but do you guys? Other leg, go up, or again, squeezing those glutes at the top. Up down. Squeeze. Down. Good job, everyone. Now we're going to work on some balance. I hope that you can see my feet well. And it's called around the world, something we used to do a lot during warm-up at the actual center. You're just going to come forward foot, sideways foot, and backwards foot. So we're going to bring our leg forward to the side and backwards to increase, to decrease intensity. You can do toe taps, so just tapping here, tapping to the side, and tapping backwards. Whatever feels comfortable for you, go at your own pace. Um, and I'll let you know when we're ready to switch. So out, side, back. Just repeating that motion while focusing on your balance. You can focus on something that's still um, across the room, and that usually helps me balance. Whatever feels comfortable for you all. Good. Let's go ahead and switch. Out, side, back. Great job. Good. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, let's make our way to the ground. Meet me in tabletop position with a neutral spine. So keeping our arms shoulder width apart and our legs pretty close together. We're gonna do cat cow. So we're gonna extend our back like a cat and release down into cat pose. So coming up and releasing down into cat pose. Focus on breathing in as you come up and exhaling as you come down. Find your breath here and continue to work your back. Good. Good job, everyone. Going down. Let's do three more. Sending our back and coming down. And then we stand up and come back down. One more. Up and back down. Good job, everyone. We're going to stay in this position, but instead we're doing bird dogs. So we're going to bring one leg and one arm out, keeping a parallel line across your body and coming back in. Same thing on the other side. Um, to increase intensity, you can come out and do a crunch at the bottom. Um, to decrease intensity, you can just do legs. So coming out and in. Um, this really focuses on our balance. As you can see here, you're forced to balance um, and it pulls your core in as well. Go ahead and do five on each side. Focusing on a still point will help you balance. Good. Good job, everyone. Great. Let's go ahead and lay on our sides. Any side is fine. And we are going to start with some clamshells. So just opening our inner legs up and closing them. Open, close, open, close. Good job, everyone. Good. Now we're going to focus on reverse clamshells. 
So we're going to keep these two top legs tight together. You can squeeze them and bring your bottom leg up. Good job. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's bring our top leg in front of us and work on our adductors. To increase intensity here, you can pulse at the top or feel free to stay at the tap down and come on up. Movement. Good. Alrighty, now we're going to bring our legs back together again and we're going to do some side crunches. Good job. Bring your elbow to our knee and coming upwards. Good. Okay. Now we're going to stretch our quad. So we're going to bring our leg in, try and keep our hips stacked and parallel. Good. Good job. Let's release in five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go ahead and switch sides. Okay. Starting with those clamshells, we're going to open and close. Good job. We can squeeze together when we come back down. Good job, everyone. Now we're going to work on adductors, so bringing that front leg in front of you and bringing that bottom leg upwards. You can pulse at the top down, pulse at the top, down, or continue to go with those fluid motions. Good. Moving to those reverse clamshells, squeezing our top two legs and bringing our bottom leg up. Good job. Reverse crunches in three. Two, one, side crunches, sorry, side. Okay, now let's move into that quad stretch. Looking good, everyone. Keep pushing through, get your homework done, and keeping our hips stacked and a neutral spine. Good. All right, let's release in three. Two, one. Go ahead and make your way to seated position. Now we're going to do figure four. So bring your leg, a back leg, clo as close as we can to our glutes. Good job, everyone. Other side in three, two, one. Okay, bringing that back leg as close as we can. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to move into similar position, but keeping our leg here and bringing our opposite leg out. Good. Now we're going to make our way to stretch our obliques. So we're going to bring our opposite arm over and we should feel a stretch right here in our obliques. Good. Switch to the other side. So moving our feet also, grabbing our toe first and then switching to that oblique stretch. Good job, everyone. Release. And now we're going to do a butterfly stretch. So bring our toes together, pushing our knees to the ground and holding it there. Um, this should be a still movement, so you shouldn't find any, you know, flapping of your wings, uh, but keeping a still movement as you move forward. Good job, everyone. Bring our toes together and reach for your toes. Good. As far as you can, it could be on your chin, your ankles, your toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. Good job, everyone. Let's go ahead and make our way to a standing position. We're gonna go ahead and stretch our back out. Our chest, I'm sorry. Trust, chest. Clasping our hands and pulling forward. Good job, everyone. Go ahead and take a deep breath with me. We're going to do some cardio. 
We're gonna do a push up on the wall and then we're gonna move into cardio. So we're gonna go down and up. Elbows by our side. Good. Let's do three more. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna move into some cardio. So first we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Um, feel free to do side jacks with steps to the side or do full on jumping jacks. Keep going, push through. Your mind is the weakest thing at this point. You made it this far. Good. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna drive in place. This is it. Give it your all. Good job, everyone. Give it your all. This is it. Keep going, keep going. Good. Alrighty, everyone. And five, four, three, two, one. Alright, everyone, you're all done. Um, thanks for joining me for warm-up today.